All right, hi everybody. Um, I'm doing a what uh, a haul video. <laughs> Almost forgot how to say it. Um, I have a f lady friend that I go. She has yard sales, and uh, she you know she gives me really good deals and stuff. And um, she was having a little trouble with the city. You can only have so many yard sales a year. So I swapped my, you know, we swapped phone numbers, and I said I'd be willing to come by and shop at the garage at any time. And so she really liked that idea. Um, so she gave me a call yesterday and said, hey, I'm going to have a yard sale Saturday. I said, oh, great. Um, but she says if I want to uh, check the stuff out before she has your yard sale, that would be great. So me and a friend went over, and... Um, last night and uh this is some of the stuff i found okay uh, that i was able to buy i think i spent 27 dollars totaled no 26 dollars totaled okay i've got this china set and that's a miska muska miska it's made in japan it's called wedding brand now i am not going to sit here and unwrap every piece because i had to wrap up every piece but we have, it, it's beautiful. It's white with the gold trim. And it looks in very, very good condition. No cracks or anything like that. The gold trim is in beautiful condition. Looks like the dishes and stuff were hardly ever used, if ever. Maybe used once. Maybe, I don't know. Um, anyway. Uh oh. That was Trixie. She's pink. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to try to talk over the mongrels. Um, anyway, it's a whole set. You got uh, the bowls. Uh, oh, this one has a little wear. Anyway, you got bowls. You got salad plates. You got the uh, cups and the saucers. And you also got um, the big plates and the salt and pepper shaker. So, anyway, she sold me that for $10. <sighs> I don't know why I do this. I keep telling myself, don't do china. Don't do glass. Don't do it. Don't do it. Even though I haven't broken anything yet, <laughs> I just, uh, I don't like wrapping it. And, and then you got to find a place to store it at once you list it up. And I'm in a little place. There's not a lot of room. But I'm going to uh, probably price it cheap and um, see what I can do uh, with this. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, so anyway, that's that. Um, then she threw these little figurines in for free. Now, aren't they just cute as a little bug? The little angels. This one, uh oh, how can I do this? It, it's a little music box one. And it moves around. Sounds like Silent Night. Made in Japan. It's, I almost want to say they're like a plaster craft rather than a ceramic. They feel lightweight. I've never seen these before. And I have no idea who made them. Anyway, I don't know who made them. All I know is they're made in Japan. And I can't tell the marking inside. Is the phone tell me? 
Okay, well, anyway, um, yeah, just this in Japan. So I don't know if they're Lipton, Nipton, or anything. What did, oh, the wing broke off. Looks like it got glued back on. Oh, bummer. But anyway, we're going to try to sell it anyway. But they're just cute. To, uh, we're calling them Kissing Angels. There, so. That, that was really sweet. Okay. Did some break off now? So, I thought she just threw them in for free. So, we'll see. Okay, now, she asked me if I'm in the movies. I said, sure. So, she gave me these movies, a quarter a piece. And I'm going to probably put most of these in a lot. Uh, some of them are sealed. New, never used. Um, I've got, you know, some uh, Tom Cruise stuff here. I've got a couple, uh, sort of Batman. i got Batman and Superman and Catwoman in here. And I'll probably put them in a lot in one. And uh, I'm going to try this. i got a couple of Clint Eastwoods, the Outlaw Law of Josie Wells. And uh, so the Impact is sealed um, <laughs> there. Um, I think I'm going to personally test some of these with a bag of popcorn. And, and you know, I'll watch them on my on my TV screen and see if they'll sell uh, there. I think that'll be kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna put you on pause because I got more goodies, more stuff to show you that I got. Um, I think some of this stuff is going to be um, I'm gonna be uh, jewelry making stuff, like beads and stuff. Um, there, but I'm gonna be donating a lot of that to our local senior center. So hold on, pausing you. Okay, we're back. All right. All right, we got uh, bead stuff galore. Here, we've got these blue moon beads. I haven't researched these out, but there's a, quite a few of these seed beads um, in here. Now, I, do, I, I go to a jewelry class and learn how to make jewelry, which helps me to fix jewelry when I find jewelry. So, anywho... Um, as you see, we've got beads. Now, these are the ones I'm going to I'm going to donate this to the senior center. They have a jewelry making class in there, and I think that I think they'll like this. This stuff looks like you can make like little ornament type style or something. I don't see something that they need as a sample here. Maybe make some little Christmas treats or something. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to donate that. This is a neat kind of case, I have to say. Hold on. I to put you on hold while I close the case. Okay. Uh, uh, and there's the case. The other side. So it's like a double side. The case I like. I like this case. I, I think that's neat. Maybe I'll just give them all the beads to keep the case. Like, I really need more organizing things. Alright, so we still have more beads in here. Got our trims and trinkets. This has some pieces in here. I think the gals would like. And some big chains. These would be good to make uh, little bracelets with. You know, uh, when you put little charms on, I would think. So we got more. Oh, so oh, you can see. Oh, this stuff came from. Walmart. Mainstay. I think Michaels or Joanne's is selling Mainstay now. Uh, make a little key ring or something. Oh, there's a key ring inside there. there. What's it say? What's it say? Be patient. Have her perfect work. Pretty cool. And the other side of that says... So same thing. Okay. So, we got these. These are handy dandy neat organizers for uh, beads and stuff and jewelry findings and stuff like that. So, um, so we've got what's in here? cord for cord jewelry. Yeah, I think I might keep a piece or two to see if I can make out that. Um, more little more beads. Beads, 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 beads. Okay, so that's a box of beads. Okay, putting you on hold, or putting you down. Uh, 
Okay, in this box we got wooden beads. Big, chunky, clunky chain. More beads. Uh, I don't think, well, they feel kind of cold to the touch. So it might be actually a little shell or dyed shell. There's just one big enough for So no vintage, you know, jewelry or anything uh, like that. I like to sell uh, vintage pieces uh, when I do find them. I am, you know, I do have some jewelry I made and I put them up in my Etsy store. Uh, real slow going on that. I haven't sold one yet. <laughs> it makes me wonder, am I, do I do good work or what? Or is my prices too high? I don't know. Every now and then I put them on sale, but no go. I don't know. Maybe nobody can find them. I don't know. Oh, those are interesting. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, this stuff will be donated. Okay. Another box. Okay. All right. Okay. We got this uh, storage box. So somebody will like that to put these in. Very good. All right. Here we go. More beads. Oh, my neighbors are being noisy today. Shall we all listen to all my neighbors? <laughs> anyway. Um, got little orange sea beads. Oh, these are kind of pretty. These are kind of like pearly color and stuff. So these are all plastic beads, so they're not glass uh, beads. So, you know, you can... So I'm going to donate this too. Oh, look at those. Look at little box blocks. Little blocks. So yeah, I'm just going to donate this and let the gals go for it. Because, you know, we have a lot of ladies in our senior center. You know, they don't have a lot of money. They don't have money to go buy because they're on their retirement and disability and so forth. So they just don't have the money. And uh, But they like to bead things and, and string beads and stuff like that and socialize. So I think this will be good. Good for them. Uh, we got these pearly beads here. And I think. No, it looks like these were these are actually Christmas ornaments. So maybe she was this person was trying to make earrings or something out of these. Um, and then we got these. These are great little storage containers because they get the little things that push and then. So you push it down and then it opens up. These are great. I always enjoy these. Um, they're what they call craft mates. These are great. Okay. Yeah. A bag of beads. More beads. Beads, beads, beads. So. Alright. Um, I'll check these beads out. Oh, these guys are cute. Oh, Elmo. Was his name Elmo? No, what was that fish's name? Um, does it say on here? Oh, that's Capone saying hi. What's that say? Um, was it Finding Nemo? Yeah, we got Nemo here. Nemo and the little turtle dudes and their little beads. I might take these and make something for my grandkid. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And we got little Disney beads. Here. Those are kind of cute. Make some of those, maybe. And some more seed beads. I cannot do seed beads. I will not do seed beads because look how tiny those little holes are. They're tiny. I can't see that. So, okay, got a little chain here. What you got here? Looks like you got another chain. Got a little pin there. Like she tried to do some wire wrapping. Looks pretty darn good. I can't wrap too. I, you know, I want to learn wire wrapping. I'm just not there yet. I'm not good at it yet. I got all my supplies. I just got to sit down there and watch a YouTube video and try to put it together. <laughs> got these big long More beads, 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 beads galore. So, uh, I don't know 
know what they were trying to make. Oh, more beads. Okay, more and more beads. Oh, we even got a stamp. I'm going to keep that. I don't know about the poodle, but I'll take the stamp. Yes, I make uh, I, I, I make car uh, greeting cards, and so these little stamps will work out pretty good. So yeah, well, thank you. Make a little thank you card with this. I'll keep that. Right. Anybody want any hemp cord or something? More, more beads. And Oh, look at earrings. I don't know. I'm not going to... I'll just give these away. I don't know. I don't want to... Or these. Little chain. I'll keep the chain. Because then I can put something onto the chain and sell it. Nice little chain. And I'll put... Beat it up something. Beat something. Beat something. Beat something. Okay. Now I'm trying to make this. Uh, these are kind of interesting pieces. Pendants, I guess they call More beads. Of course, it's a pen. It's in the pen. Hang on, put me down. We're almost here. Anybody need a, a pick? Um... Dunlop USA. Alright, we have looks like spacer beads. So uh, a glue stick. So, this is it. So yeah. oh, a little stretchy bracelet. Anyway, it'll be all donated. Well, I'm going to keep. Okay. All right. I'll probably resell this, and it's um, a Disney three ruler pack. I don't think it's very good. Tigger poo. So I'll probably sell this. Okay. Now, I love these craft mates. There, yeah, I love them. I just, I want the storage thing more than anything else. There's some beads in here. I'll probably just put these in little, uh, uh, little Ziploc bags and just donate them. Uh, so maybe I might keep these silver pieces because I don't have these ones here. Um, I think they're like a, yeah, these little pieces. Um, there, I'll keep those. But the rest, I'll donate. This is an interesting, pretty color there. So I don't know. And then you got some hooks there and stuff. So I'll probably might keep those. But I want the case more than anything else because um, I love these cases. They're great um, for keeping your beads organized. I have a purple set there, and it has the plastic on both sides. So. This one has some silver, I mean gold uh, spacers in here. More seed beads. And I'll just donate those. But keep the organizer. And I like it. It has a little pouch here. So I like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, with that. Okay. Magazines. Um, this is a neat magazine. Um, I really like that. Our class, uh, you know, our teacher clicks, you know, has a whole herd of these uh, magazines, and they teach you. And what she does is she'll photocopy, a, 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 you know, a project here, and she says, you know, try to make this. Now, she says, don't go by what the instruction says because, you know, you can't find these pieces at Hobby Lobby or Joanne's Michaels. So she says, use what you got and see if you can come up with your own creativity with this and I really like that um, 
with this uh, with this class. Um, I like to try to make me a little charm bracelet. So I really like that and it really brings out, uh, makes me challenge my creativity and stuff. So, um, so I really like these bead magazines. So there's a couple of them I got there and you know some ideas to try to expand you know try to make anything <laughs> we'll see okay and a little bead uh tray because nothing sucks more than having your beads be all over the place and all over the floor i've done that i've done that <laughs> so i'm glad i found this um and then a palette um i paint uh watercolors but i'm horrible terrible at it and I also like will use this with the distress paints and stuff with my cards and stuff so that's what that's for all right uh, another uh, chain Look at that. all right um, these are crimp ball silvers um, I see these I see videos people use these so I'm just this is more out of curious I find them mostly on the vintage jewelry pieces so I'm more curious about how to use them and see if I can use them with my jewelry if not I'll sell them or give them away all right now so I'm not keeping the beads I want the case the little cases these are little 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 cases individual and they have little holes so I can put stuff in them and just shake out what I need. So I really like it. I like these. I like that. So I wanted to case more anything else. Um, this came with the books. And it's, I guess it's like a little kit there. And you got a little book to show you how to do stuff. Now I'd love to try to do this. But there's like these teeny itty bitty seeds I can't see too well. Maybe if I put a magnifying glass dangling it off my head or something. I don't know. But it'd be kind of cool to do this but it's really look like tedious work and I really don't have the patience I mean I like the work but I just not me no I'll I, I probably go lose my marbles on this I don't know it's really difficult and you have to have really good eyeballs and uh, stuff so I don't know so I mean it's kind of cool so anyway I don't know I'll probably give it away um oh, the page is sticky um there. So, anyway, that's my little haul that I got here with that. Oh, yeah, and here we go. This one's cool. It's a Fiskars, Fiskars, upside down, scrapbook bag. It's big enough to put, you know, those uh, scrapbook totes in there. And these things got Velcro on the side, so you can add more paper to it. So, this is awesome. But I'm going to donate this because I don't need more storage space for this kind of stuff. Um, here. So, I'm going to donate this to my group, uh, card making group, because I do a card making group and uh, we make cards. I went there last Wednesday and uh, I forgot to bring my phone because I was going to videotape what everybody's making in there and show you guys. But I forgot to bring the phone. I hate when I do that. Um, run out the door and leave the phone at home. <laughs> but I survived. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, maybe next week when I go, I'll do a video and show you what everybody's making and stuff. Um, there and stuff. You know, my, my channel, you know, I thought I was going to do all reselling and stuff. But you know what? I'm just going to do it by the name. This is Zuli's Odds and Ends. So... Who knows what you're going to get. You may get the reselling stuff. You may get my card making stuff. You may get my jewelry making stuff. You may get me, you know, talking more about my dead plants. Um, <laughs> it's odds and ends. You never know. Oh, by the way, here we are. I am going to crochet a granny square blanket, a big one. So this is the first square. I like the coloring. They're always, you know. And that's, and I will show you probably the blanket when I get it done. It's going to be about couch size. Yeah, kind that you put over the couch. Not the whole couch, but the kind you put over the back end of the couch. About that size. So when you're watching TV you get a little chilly, you just throw it on you. That, that size. Yes, I've been crocheting for, I don't know, 15 plus years. And stuff, and I've never once made me a granny square blanket out of all these years. Now, I've made like little teeny 
granny squares and put them together and gave it to the grandkid, but I never did one for me. So I'm doing one for me. All right, so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I have tons of different hobby stuff, and I will probably share my different hobby stuff on this channel here. And uh, who knows? Yeah. Anyway, tell me what you think. If you like this video, I guess do the thumbs up. If you don't, do the thumbs down. I don't care. Whatever. I'm just here doing this for fun. Uh, anyway. All right. Happy findings. Uh, happy sales. And oh, no, all by the way, I'm going to do a Goodwill haul next video because I got some clothes at Goodwill. And I'm going to do that next video. All right. Toodles.